due diligence here with an article from themindunleashed.org the Tulsi plant can be used to remove fluoride from drinking water. Most of us know that fluoride is in the public water supply. This is uh, a known toxin, really, and we're made to put it not only in our bodies for hydration, but on our bodies for showering, in our home gardens. It, it's everywhere. We can't get away from it. And the toxicity may be safe enough for adults in the amounts that's being pumped in there, but it's not safe enough for younger kids. It's known that uh, children are, are adversely affected by this, especially their IQ. So it's important to find ways to either get alternative sources of spring water that hasn't been tampered with, despite the bioaccumulative facts of fluoride, um, holy basil is one of those plants that can filter and remove fluoride from water. The article goes on to say, an exciting and new water treatment breakthrough has been announced that will now make the removal of fluoride from the drinking water supplies of the world's poorest people more affordable than ever. Researchers in India have discovered that the Tulsi plant, also known as holy basil, can be used to significantly reduce the amount of fluoride in drinking water. At present, the most reliable methods used to remove excessive fluoride from drinking water are either too expensive or not suitable for the environments where they are needed most. The method discovered by researchers at Rajasthan University is safe, cheap, and readily available, making it an ideal alternative for communities who can't afford to use the more advanced techniques of removing fluoride that are readily available in the West. Most of us here in the West can't even spare the dime to uh, get that expensive filter. An experiment was conducted in the Yellow Reddy Gouda village of uh, Nar Narkit Pali Mandal. The researchers soaked 75 milligrams of Tulsi leaves in 100 milliliters of water that contained 7.4 parts per million of fluoride in the water. After only soaking the Tulsi leaves for 8 hours, it was discovered that the level of fluoride in the water was reduced from 7.4 parts per million to only 1.1 parts per million. Wow. At present, the World Health Organization recommends that the safe level of fluoride in drinking water is between 0.5 to 1 parts per million. The dangers of drinking water that contains high levels of fluoride are well known. Some of the known side effects of drinking water that contains fluoride are dental fluorosis, reduced intelligence in children, and a damaged nervous system. This new water treatment option could now provide the world's poorest people an opportunity to remove excessive fluoride from their drinking water supplies. However, more research is still needed to identify and validate the effectiveness of using Tulsi leaves as a means of removing fluoride for drinking water supplies. Considering the cost-prohibitive nature of other more reliable water treatment techniques, it's a Tulsi plant is conclusively proven to be effective in removing drinking water or fluoride from the drinking water, then we may witness a revolution in water treatment, providing options to areas where none currently exist. Or, perhaps, uh, governments can stop putting fluoride in the water. <laughs> Just a suggestion. It's... It's hurting more than it's helping. So what are your thoughts on this? Are you going to give it a try? Are you going to put this to the test at your house? Do you know anyone who could benefit from this? Share the video their way. Leave your comments below and subscribe if you get the chance. As always, I'm doing I'm due diligence doing just that. Take it easy.